Hello everyone, my name is Desala, I'm a fashion designer and you are welcome to my channel. So today I'm talking about how to start a fashion business in Nigeria. I've been in the fashion industry for nine years and I have a ready to wear clothing line called Daisy's Wardrobe. And today I want to talk about how to start a fashion business in Nigeria. First of all, you need to find out what kind of fashion business you want to do. There are different kinds of fashion business in Nigeria. It could be apparel, it could be accessories, it could be anything. So you need to figure out what kind of fashion business you want to run. You need to decide that, you know, this fashion business that I'm doing is what I want to do. Because running a business in Nigeria is not necessarily a walk in the park. It needs a lot of hard work, and determination so you need to figure out what kind of business you want to do then you find out how you're going to go about registering this business and I'm believing that when you want to register your business you have to have already have a name that you want to call your business your name should not be a name that you are going to outgrow in a couple of years because I'm believing that when you start this business you want this business to grow with you as you grow every single day and every single year in your life so you want to have a name that is unique to you and unique to your business and you're not going to outgrow so I wouldn't say that you use um, your pet name as your business because when you grow older and you don't really necessarily want people to be calling you that pet name. That business of yours is registered in that pet name. So you need to consider very well what you want to call your business. So you register your business so that you can take your business seriously, so that other people can take your business seriously. And you can have a long-term projection for your business as well. You also need to consider the point of sales for your business business how you intend to carry out your business do you intend to carry it out online do you intend to have a brick and mortar do you intend to retail with other people whatever the case may be you need to consider what ways you're going to retail out whatever it is you're doing you have to factor in where this place will be you have to factor in things that you would need for example electricity that is one of our biggest challenges on this side of the world. So you need to consider how you're going to provide your own electricity to make your, your garments. You need to um, consider all the things that you need to buy to start this fashion business. All your equipment and tools and um, supplies that you need to start this fashion business you need to make a list of all these things and also find out how much all these things are going to cost you if you don't already have all these things then you need to find out to find out how you're going to market this business and who are your target customers who are your target audience when you know your target audience you'll be able to know the best way to reach them via marketing you'll be able to know the best way to market to them that will make your marketing very very effective you need to know who your target market is because you need to know who you're who you're doing business with the people that need and require your 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 product or your services because you cannot be everything to everybody they have to know you for something so if is it um do you make fantastic um occasion wear do you make fantastic bridal wear whatever it may be you, people need to know you for something people need to know that this is my go-to person if i want x y and z so you need to know who your target customer is you also need to consider when you want to start this business if you haven't started already you need to consider when you want to start this business and the time frame it will take for you to set up everything that you need to have in place. Remember that everything doesn't have to be perfect. You can't wait for the perfect time to start anything. You can't wait for the perfect time to start a business because there will never be a perfect time. The best time is now. Because when you wait for the perfect time, when the perfect time, when you feel it's the perfect time, there will still be something lingering somewhere that still needs, needs some form of perfection. So the best time is now. And as you start, you go along with it and you roll with it basically. So there's no perfect time to start a business. Also, you need to know how you're going to finance this business. How you're going to come across 
come up with the funds to run this business? Do you intend to go for a loan? Do you intend to reach out to family members or friends to assist you? Do you have savings somewhere that will help you in starting this business? These are things that you need to consider when starting a business because when you consider this, it lets you know the skill with which you want to start your business, whether you want to start very small, whether you want to start medium size, or you want to start in a very, very big way. I always advise people to start small because when you start small, you're able to learn and understand the market, you're able to know what people want, you're able to know your target customers, you're able to know them better, and you're able to know what they want, what they need, and what they require. There's no point starting a business believing that, you know, everybody is going to come, this person is going to come, that person is going to come, and those people don't come. You know, it's like a waste of time and you just feel really, really bad. The thing about business is the people that you expect to patronize you will not always patronize you, will not necessarily patronize you. So you need to have an open mind when you're doing business that everybody's not going to be your customer. Even your closest friends will not patronize you because not everybody is going to believe in your vision. Not everybody is going to see things the way you see things. And bear in mind, when you do your business, as you start your business, always remember that you will find your own. You will find your own tribe, your own people that love and appreciate what you do. And because people that you expect to patronize you don't necessarily patronize you, it doesn't make them a bad person. You're not, you're not just meeting their need at that point in time. Maybe in the future you might meet their need, but at that point in time you're not meeting their need. So there's nothing to be upset about. Friends and family don't always have to patronize our business. But if they do, it's always good for them to patronize the business. Another thing that um, you want to consider is hiring. It's very important to hire right when doing a business. Especially in this Nigeria, hiring can be pain in the neck, honestly. When you're hiring people, it's, it's, it, it can, it's a nightmare, really. But you need to take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a rush to hire people to work for you. Always be willing, always be, always be willing to look out for the person that is willing to work, willing to grow, willing to improve, than someone who already knows it all. A person who knows it all already may not necessarily have your best interests at heart. So you need to consider all these things when starting a fashion business here in Nigeria. Also, another thing is, when starting a fashion business, it's also very good to be knowledgeable about whatever aspect of fashion business you're going to. You don't necessarily have to know everything, but have a good knowledge of what you're making or what you're producing is about. It's very, very good to be knowledgeable about it. If you don't have any knowledge about it, you, 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 you may get away with it in the beginning, but in the long run, it's going to come back and bite you. So it's very advisable to have a good knowledge of what what you're what you're doing really so my video today is not very long and um, thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and put on the notification bell so that you know when i upload a new video thank you very much for watching i really really appreciate it and i will see you very soon bye